What can you learn from famous people with scoliosis? Scoliosis is a condition that has really no prevalence on one particular person, meaning either common or famous people or more people with more abilities or patients that actually have more access to health care or more luxuries. So unfortunately, scoliosis affects a wide variety of people. In fact, we think it's somewhere between 7 and 9 million people in the U.S. are affected by scoliosis. And we think of scoliosis, we most commonly think of adolescence because that's the most common age it's diagnosed. It's mostly diagnosed when kids are going through from juvenile stage into adolescent stage and they're going through puberty and these curves tend to progress during the growth phase. However, we know scoliosis, it's not the most common age of patient that has scoliosis. The most common age of patient with scoliosis or the highest percentage of age category is 90 plus. 90 plus years uh, of age of patient, that half of those people over 90 has some form of scoliosis and it just slowly increases from adolescent to that age group over time. So as we move, as we get as patients, we look at age categories that are older and older and older, we get a higher percentage of people that actually have scoliosis. Now, when it comes to scoliosis and how it affects people that are famous or have achieved great things is why do I like to talk about people that are famous or have done great things with their lives and have scoliosis because it just shows that scoliosis doesn't need to create a limitation on your life and when you look at a condition like scoliosis in the traditional approach it says there's nothing you can do about it it's going to worsen over time you just have to wait for your curve to get bad enough and then when it gets bad enough we'll put a rod in your spine and kind of deal with it then it, it becomes very um, limiting. You feel like there's nothing that you can do to actually have a greater, uh, have an impact on your health and your well-being and the longevity of your spine. So when I talk with patients regarding uh, these famous patients or famous people that have scoliosis, it can give you inspiration that, hey, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do with scoliosis, especially if you're proactive and you see, and you and you deal with the curve from progressing and you're, and you're proactive in the, the treatment approaches that you choose. Who are some famous people with scoliosis? I understand that none of these patients Patients, or these people were actually patients in my clinic, but you know, uh, Olympic runner, fastest uh, fastest human in the world for many many years, Usain Bolt, uh, Lamar Grant, Elizabeth Taylor, Renee Russo. These are just people that have done some great things and accomplished some amazing things in their lives with scoliosis. So you just don't have to survive with scoliosis; you can actually thrive, and that's really why I want to really change the, what people are experiencing with scoliosis because scoliosis doesn't need to be limiting. Sharing patients or stories with scoliosis is important so patients can have a better understanding of their condition. It can, they can have a under, give their families more hope on, on that actually they can do something about it. And really today, more than ever, there's more treatment options when it comes to scoliosis than ever in the past. But unfortunately, you have to seek them out. They're not readily available from your traditional orthopedic surgeon or traditional treatment options. They're kind of just staying in what they've been doing for the last 40 or 50 years, which unfortunately can be very limiting and can create a very feeling of like there's nothing I can do other than wait for my curve to worsen to where I need surgery. And this is exactly why I wrote Scoliosis Hope. And the reason why is because I want to spread hope and awareness regarding not only that you can become and do almost anything you want to do with scoliosis and you can become very empowered, especially if you take scoliosis and reduce it. Like they say, it's impossible. It's very possible if you just make the right decisions and you have some discipline and you're informed about what to do, when to do it, and how to get the best results with your scoliosis care. So scoliosis doesn't have to mean that you're hopeless, that there's nothing that you can do about it. It doesn't mean that you have a life of limitations or things that you can't accomplish. In fact, it doesn't even need to be the main story of your life. Scoliosis, in fact, can actually be empowering, especially if you overcome it with your own abilities to do therapy and rehabilitation and exercises and, and actually overcome the limitations that are put upon yourself. People have thrived with scoliosis, and so can you. It doesn't have to be the thing that defines you or limits you. It can definitely be something that empowers you. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.